check, 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 okay, we're good to go. College. College is something that we've all heard of and it's probably something that we've been told to pursue many times in our lives. A couple of years ago, I was in college myself and right after my third semester, I decided to drop out and stop going. Now, two years later, looking back at that decision, I still think it was the best choice that I could have made. I'm gonna explain why here in a sec. So the whole time while I was going to college, I was actually pursuing a filmmaking career and the social media, YouTube stuff as well. So every day I would go to college, I would come home and start working on video stuff right after. But at this time, my video career wasn't well, it just wasn't a career yet. And that's that's the biggest reason why I was in college in the first place. Making videos was a dream of mine and something that I wanted to do, but financially, um, I just wasn't quite there yet. It made sense for me to go to college and at least have a backup plan if my dreams weren't working out. So as I was going to college, I was just focusing on my general eds and I was just finishing up all the classes that I would have to do regardless if I ever plan on going back to college. But I'll dive a little more into that later in this video. There's no denying that college College can be very hard and definitely time consuming. It was more trying to balance my life and trying to pursue something else at the same time as trying to take 12 to 16 credit hours every semester. And at the same time, I was taking summer classes as well, just so I didn't have to take as many during the spring and fall so I would have more time to focus on my goals. It just wasn't something that I was pursuing. If I had something to do and a reason to go to college, I, I, don't, I think it would have been great, but I wasn't planning on being a doctor. I wasn't planning on being a teacher, etc. The career that I was planning to pursue, I didn't necessarily need a college degree for. The thing that I needed most was to build a resume, and that's exactly what I was doing while I was going to college. And it wasn't until about halfway through my third semester of college when I realized that I could actually take this somewhere. So as I was finishing up my third semester of college, I started making the decision to not go back and finish it. Which to make the situation even worse, um, I already had most of my classes finished and over with. So I think I only had three classes I had to take left, nine credit hours or something. So I was really, really close. Here is why I made the decision not to go and why I believe it was the best decision that I could have made. I looked at it this way. I wasn't going to college to pursue anything. After I got my associate's degree, I still wouldn't know what to do with it. And at the same time, I was focusing so much on making these dreams of mine become a reality that that's the only thing that I could focus on. So I made a promise to my friends and mostly myself that I will take one semester off school I will put 110% of my time towards working on these goals of mine. Please note that I already had something going. I didn't just drop out of college and say, okay, this is my dream, I'm gonna make it happen. I was going to college for a year and a half and I was doing this before I even went to college. So I was working on these video dreams for quite some time before I finally made the decision to go all for it. And I think that's something that's very important. I think dropping out of college is something that is so glorified now. Oh, just drop out of college and you'll create a business and you'll travel the world and you'll, your dreams will just magically come true because that is not the case for 99.9% .9 of people. It just doesn't happen like that. You have to put in a lot of time and a lot of work beforehand before you get to a point where you say, I might be able to actually do this, now I'm going to. Not just randomly get an idea one day and say, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop everything else. So I finished up my third semester. I didn't drop out mid-semester and waste my money or waste any of my teacher's time. So the second I finished my last final, I decided to go all in. I knew that if I wasn't going to college, then I better work very, very hard on this. And there's gonna be no slacking. I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna make sure that I go all or nothing with this because just in case this doesn't work out for me, I wanna know that I gave it my all at least. So within a couple months, everything just started kind of rolling by itself. Like I said earlier, things were already moving a little bit. Um, but this was just the final push that I needed to really move everything into motion. By the time the fall semester came up, I felt that I was in a good enough situation to not have to go back to college and continue pursuing filmmaking. And that's how it's been ever since. So yeah, I don't have anything against college. I think it's great for a lot of people. The only reason I believe that I made the best decision I could have was because for the career that I was pursuing, I needed a resume more than a degree. And that's kind of all it came down to. I think if you're in the same position position as me or if you're going to college but you don't know exactly what you're doing yet I don't think you should feel obligated to go but at the same time if you have enough time and if you aren't pursuing anything else 
then yes, absolutely, you should go to college and it's only gonna help you. If I ever need to go back to college, I have three more general eds that I need to get out of the way and then I can pursue a bachelor's in something else. So I'm definitely very, very happy that I ended up going to college and getting at least a year and a half out of the way. And like I said, if I ever need to go back, I'm gonna be in a way better position than I would if I never would've went at all. And I'm also very happy with the decision that I made to drop out when I did. So that is my story of why I dropped out of college. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a huge like on this video. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do that right now and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I release a new video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can right now at KyleNut117. Um, if that's not your cup of tea, then you know, just make sure you subscribe to the channel at least. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Peace.